In this lesson, I will teach you some strategies that will help you multiply bigger numbers. So what I want to teach you is how to decompose one of the factors so that your multiplication problem becomes a little easier. Think about numbers that are easy to multiply. How about fives and tens? The fives facts and the tens facts are usually a little easier to remember. So if one of your factors is close to either five or ten, you can use the fives and tens facts to help you. Let's take a look at the first problem, eight times six. To multiply eight times six, think about the repeated addition problem that you could write for eight times six. Just add eight to itself six times. Okay, so I've written out eight added to itself six times, which is the repeated addition that's related to the multiplication problem eight times six. Now I'm gonna go in and highlight part of this addition sentence here in blue. The numbers under the blue highlight represent eight added to itself five times. And if you wanted to rewrite this as a multiplication sentence, this part is eight times five. So all this is eight times five. And then there's a last eight here. So let's put this in parentheses. Eight times five equals 40. So I'm gonna write that down here. And remember to add in this last eight for a total of 48. This means that taken all together, eight times six equals 48. So what I did was I wrote a repeated addition problem and I thought about eight times five and then realized that eight times six is the same thing as eight times five plus eight. Now there's another way to solve eight times six by decomposing numbers and it relies on the distributive property. Let me show you that method. Now remember, the distributive property lets you break down one of the factors into the sum of two smaller numbers. So let's break down the number 6. 6 equals 5 plus 1. Using this information, rewrite 8 times 6 using the distributive property. So what you would do is you would multiply 8 times 5 plus 1, which you know is equivalent to 6. To use the distributive property to multiply, make sure that you multiply 8 by both add-ins inside the parentheses. So you multiply 8 by 5 and also 8 times 1. 8 times 5 plus 8 times 1. Now remember from the first part of this problem, we solved 8 times 5 is 40. 8 times 1 is 8, add these two numbers together, and you get 48. This is the same thing that you got when you thought of 8 times 6 as the repeated addition, or if you use the distributive property, you can solve the problem this way. Now let's solve the second problem, 7 times 9. If you notice, 9 is very close to the number 10. It's actually just one less than 10. So to help you solve this problem, I'm going to start by writing a repeated addition sentence for 7 times 10, and then I'll teach you how to get from that repeated addition sentence to the answer of 7 times 9. So first, let me write out 7 times 10 as a repeated addition. So the repeated addition for 7 times 10 is 7 added to itself 10 times. Now I will compare this repeated addition sentence to the repeated addition sentence that represents 7 times 9. Here in blue I have the repeated addition sentence for 7 times 9. 7 times 9 is 7 added to itself 9 times. When you look at the two repeated addition sentences on top of one another, it becomes clear to see that 7 times 10 and 7 times 9 are very similar except for the fact that 7 times 10 adds an extra 7 at the end. This means that you can think of 7 times 9 as 7 times 10 minus 7 because 7 times 9 has one less 7 added to it. So 7 times 10 is 70. If you subtract 1 7 away you get 63. This means that 7 times 9 equals 63. In this lesson, I have showed you how to use decomp 
transposing numbers to make multiplication sentences easier to solve. Remember, fives facts and tens facts are very helpful. If you can make a factor close to five or ten, you'll have an easier time solving the problem. Good luck!